Well, I thought it was good um, considering the amount of matches I've played in the last almost uh, almost 12 months. I mean, uh, played uh, probably six, seven matches in total um, ever since Wimbledon last year. And uh, I personally feel and I know that you can also see it from outside that I'm lacking more of the match play and uh, more of those situations of, you know, competition, uh, you know, playing out points and official match because, you know, obviously one pra practicing and playing practice sets is one thing and playing an official match completely is something else mentally mostly. So um, also, <clears throat> you know, with injury and everything that was happening, um, in the last couple of months and the post surgery uh, period uh, me trying to come back to Indian Wells in Miami and obviously playing well below the desired level um, you know it was it wasn't that easy for me to cope with all of that but at the same time <clears throat> you know it made me uh, I think um, even more inspired to come back and try to play the way I play today. I mean, I think, as I said, under the, the circumstances and considering I haven't played too many official matches, uh, I, I, th I thought I played well. I thought I started a tournament well. It's first match on clay, and it's against a very good friend of mine who obviously you know, hasn't played at his best and is making a lot of mistakes, but still, I thought I thought all in all was just a, a great start of the tournament. Does it feel like never left or does it feel It's a fresh start, uh, I think, for both of us, and uh, I missed him, and uh, I have a feeling that he missed uh, <laughs> well, me or tennis or or, or both. But um, <clears throat> we both enjoyed a lot the last ten days of practice we had. Um, he knows me better than any tennis coach I've worked with. Um, he's a friend and he's someone I can share a lot of um, things with, you know, in, in w whether it's professional or private life. He's always there for me and he knows me, you know, inside out. He knows, um, you know, what I need in order to, to get <clears throat> to the to the highest possible level of uh, of play, so uh, we could not ask for a better start. I mean, together, obviously, we, uh, as I've mentioned before, uh, don't have any kind of long-term commitment with each other. We just want to see how it goes in this tournament. How you know, so far has been a lot of positive things and actually only positive emotions every practice session and today on the court. So hopefully, we can keep going in the right direction. Well, look, you know, I, uh, first of all, I mean, I, I'm so grateful to, to both of them for, you know, willing to to help me out, to be there for me, to, give, you know, contribute as much as they can to uh, to my career, to my life, and of course, we still stay stay friends, stayed friends, and you know, we Radek is actually, I think, coming here in in a few days, so I'll, I'll be seeing him and. This doesn't affect our personal relationships, um, and uh, that we established, you know, over the years, both with Radek and Andre. Uh, but we we just decided that it's better to 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 part ways because, uh, uh, you know, I, we we both sides did you know did feel that that's that's best for you know for for me and and for them. So we just. Uh, I, I didn't know in which direction I, I want to go. You know, after uh, Indian Wells in Miami, I was, you know, uh, questioning, you know, in w which way I want to move ahead, and I didn't want to keep them in, so to say, uh, um, in the dark in a way, in, in being indecisive and not giving them clear, you know, 
indications in what, you know what what I'm going to do because the elbow was still not um, as good at it, as it was in the last ten days, seven days. So after two two years, finally I can play without without pain. And and in Young Wales, Miami was especially in Young Wales was not like that. Um, and uh, I understand as well that <clears throat> you know I, I I might have rushed my decision to play a little bit because I just I, I missed matches. I missed playing. I didn't have risk of hurting the elbow which is good but I obviously wasn't ready uh, to play at that level <coughs> physically I mean I, I you know had to work but I decided to be there and um, and that's it you know um, you know Marion is back and you know we we just see things as they are at the moment and God knows what future brings <coughs> No, I, I, I look. You know, you have to understand that we, you know, first of all, we didn't have any commitment. We didn't have any contract. We didn't have. You know, he, he was he, he was not, you know, working with me officially. You know, he was helping me out, and he was really uh, <clears throat> genuinely wanting to help and to give me advices and to share his experience with me. And that's, you know, that says you know speaks enough about him as a person and you know that he is and someone that I always admired as a player and as, as a person and you know the last eight nine months with with Andre was just amazing you know the amount of things that I've learned um, just you know not just about tennis but life in general and uh, for that I'm very grateful um, and and you know so we, we didn't you know, we didn't have a, you know, kind of official relationship, so we c could not have ended it at, at the same time. So, I mean, his, you know, uh, invitation to call me, as he said, is always open. So, I mean, I can call him any day and, and speak with him and ask him for for tips, advices or whatever and, you know, share something. So, that's that's always uh, the case with Andre and with Radic as well. Although with Radic was slightly different because we were talking about some long-term commitments but uh, you know Radek was also ending his his uh, player career and he you know to uh, late in December I you know we didn't know whether he's going to be a coach or player or both so um, you know before it has even started in a way I mean it has has ended but you know again uh, nothing nothing personal no bad feelings we just split in a very normal way and as I said you know we're going to be seeing each other and Still keep on being friends. It, it, it didn't seem normal though because I was just wondering if you were disappointed at all that he put the news out before you. Because normally in tennis, the player would put the news out. Yeah. No, I mean, look, you know, it's. Uh, Andre was giving an interview, as I understand, in ESPN, and we talked about. I mean, it's. I, I don't see things really from that, that point of view. I don't. You know, I, I don't mind that or I'm not disappointed at all. I mean, I, I just have gratitude towards Andre, I mean, and, and Radek, especially Andre for what he has done for me in the last year or so. I mean, I, I mean, that's it. You know, I, I felt only friendship. I felt only sincere uh, willingness and desire to help me out. And that, that's all. I mean, I, I don't care about the, the game who comes in and says, you know, things in the press first. I mean, we, nobody offended anybody, so it's just we're still in a very good relationship. Last two questions, Isabel. Today you seemed to be 100 percent into your match right from the beginning, physically and mentally, from the outside. Anyway, is that the way you felt? Is it because you you eventually played pain free, or is it because you found some serenity back being with Mario? Well, it's a combination of things. I mean, obviously, the pain was uh, was a huge factor uh, that was affecting my overall state and my mind. My, my, you know, I had to when I end of last year when I started training again. Um, it took, I think, about four months off uh, from tennis. I, I, I did fitness and. 
But I, I even when I'm doing conditioning, training, and fitness, I, I have to avoid, you know, doing stuff. I have to do specific work there. I can't throw a ball or I can't, you know, impersonate tennis uh, uh, serve movements. And so it's a, a lot of things had to be left aside and, comp you know, com com compensated because, you know, uh, the elbow was not healed. And uh, if I, you know, could get a surgical intervention could have done it before last year yeah I mean I could have but uh, it was, at the time it wasn't uh, what was advised to me and I uh, you know, I generally I don't like surgeries I've never had one uh, but it had to be done in the end uh, unfortunately when the season already started so that was a tricky part the, the intervention was done right and I came back already after five weeks I mean to on the court from from the moment when I had the surgery so that's that's amazing but I still obviously <coughs> wasn't ready game wise physically so uh, Indian Wells and Miami were really uh, kind of you know a struggle on the court for me mentally you know because I I, I, I know that I can play much better than that but I couldn't I just wasn't ready and and that's it. But um, today, um, you know, pain-free. Uh, you know, obviously, Marian having Marian is a lot of positive emotions. As I said, um, he knows me very well, so we worked on a lot of great things in the last ten days. Physically, I, I think I'm, I'm getting in a better shape. You know, as as the weeks go by, and um, so I think today was a result of combination of a few few factors and elements. Last thing. Well, uh, look, you know, I, I, I was very fortunate throughout my life and my career to have really great, honest support from, from people that are closest in my life, starting with my parents, my brothers, obviously, my wife, and, and the team of people that I've that I had, I mean, literally with all of them, if not all of them, then 98% of people that I've worked with professionally. Um, have been and have has stayed my friends. I mean, I, it's 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 hard it's hard as a tennis player not to create that kind of chemistry, if you know what I mean, because you you, you travel so much with each other, and uh, if you do that over ten or plus years with someone like Marian, who is, you know, the person that he is, uh, very humble, very genuine, and liked around the tour, you know, from everyone, then. You know, it, it becomes the relationship becomes much more much more profound than player coach relationship. So uh, that's you know the first practice that we had. That's what I felt. I mean, I felt felt safe on the court. I felt I felt uh, motivated. I felt you know felt a lot of a lot of great things. So um, yeah, we're gonna both work on to to keep it that way. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. <coughs> I wish to stay.